saw a lot of Tanner Howell with Team USA. What do, you, what do you remember about him? He's good. Yeah, we had him uh, with the USA team last summer, and uh, tell you, he was he was really outstanding. In fact, he was the starting pitcher the night that we no hit the Cuban national team. He pitched the first four innings of that game. He was probably 95 to 97, and uh, threw a lot of strikes. Reminded you a little bit of Aaron Nola, you know, his delivery. Uh, I mean, I obviously prefer Aaron Nola, but. Uh, there's no question Tanner Houck is one of the best pitchers in the country. So he's going to be a tremendous challenge. I think he's already been the SEC Pitcher of the Week, what, three times this year? Uh, so he has a chance to, to dominate a game, but it's going to be a tremendous matchup laying against Houck, as will McLean against Poche. You know, I, I, I think McLean and Poche are very similar, despite the fact that one's right-handed and one's left-handed just in the sense that they don't have quite the overpowering stuff like Hauk and Lang have, yet they're both tremendous competitors. They both uh, you know, give their team a chance to win because they fight and are very tough. I have great respect for McLean. He played on the same junior college team as uh, Connor Hale. They had one year of overlapping, so we kind of knew about him. and. You know, we were prepared for him last year. He's a very good pitcher, doesn't walk anybody, throws a lot of change-ups, but he, but he also touches 90 miles an hour. Hout's more of a power guy, you know. He's, a, he's got a four-seam fastball that'll get up to, they say he touched 99 this year, but mostly he's gonna be 93 to 95, but he's, he's got a nice little breaking ball as well, and he also throws a sinker. So, you know, their, their top two starters are kind of like our top two starters, and I think they're gonna be great matchups. Is that why you got Coach and Ryan Friday, Saturday, because you wanted to match them up? No, like no, no, no. I just, you know, we've, we're, we've now gone through four weekends, and I tried desperately to put Lang in that Friday night role. I was afraid if I put it, scheduled him for Friday night, we'd get rained out again, to be honest with you. <laughs> so, uh, but you know, Jared pitched so well last weekend, and, uh, you know, we've done it now for a year and four weeks, so. We're just going to probably keep it like it is now. Um, knowing they, that you guys had success last week, and it was cut you off, James. We were asked the same Elbow question. No, knowing that you guys had success last week, and it's hot loss, you guys were thinking, was that encouraging going into this week facing Hal? Well, <laughs> yeah, that's encouraging. It's nice to know that, that uh, our guys made the adjustment and were able to handle velocity. That doesn't guarantee any success against this guy. He's really good. I mean, he's got good command as well as a good fastball. But I, I think our guys are going to embrace the challenge. I think they're looking forward to it. You know, they, I don't have to tell them how underrated Missouri's team is. They, you know, the, Missouri has played like, you know, the schedule from, I hate to use the word hell, but it, you know, they opened up with Florida on the road, then they had Vanderbilt at home, then they had to go to Arkansas on the road. I mean, that'd be it, tough for anybody. That'd be tough for a major league team to compete with. And they, they were very competitive in the first six games, but ended up 0 for 6. And then they beat Arkansas 2 out of 3 on the road, followed up by beating Auburn 2 out of 3 last weekend. So it's a team that's playing with a lot of confidence. They do have some veteran position players. You know, all the attention goes to McLean and Hal. But let me tell you, the, the center fielder, Jake Ring, is a really great ball player. We had Ryan Howard, the shortstop, with our USA team last summer. He was a two-hole hitter and the starting shortstop for Team USA, so that, that in itself should tell you what kind of player he is. Lavi has great power. Venice has upper deck power, uh, but he strikes out a lot. Uh, Bond is a really good hitter, their catcher, so they, you know, I'm surprised that their hitting stats are not better than they are, but they do lead the league in walks by a rather large margin, so you know, that's something that we, we need to they be conscious of that they're going to make us throw the ball over the plate, and so that's going to be a point of emphasis for our pitchers. 